In this problem, we're given an order of ibuprofen 2.5 grains POQ for hours PRN. In stock is a film coated tablet with 300 milligrams of ibuprofen. How many tablets would you give? To answer this question, we need to have the doctor's order in tablets. So we'll set tablets as our goal. To solve a pharmacology problem using multidimensional analysis, we always start with the doctor's orders. In addition to the 2.5 grains, the additional portion of the order is PO, which is take by mouth, Q four hours, which stands for every four hours, with PRN meaning as needed. Ibuprofen is a medication given to relieve pain and fever. Starting then with the order of 2.5 grains expressed as a fraction, we have the following with a denominator of 1 for an equivalent value. We need to convert our current order from grains into tablets. The problem gives us a relationship between tablets and milligrams. This will require a preliminary step to convert our current order, which is in grains, into milligrams so that we then can further convert it into tablets. To do so, we will create a conversion factor fraction with a relationship or arrangements such that the current grain is canceled out. Since grain is in the numerator, we will place grain in our conversion fraction in the denominator. Looking up a relationship between grain and milligram, we have the following. Taking equivalent values and expressing them in fractional form with one value in the numerator and an equivalent value in the denominator gives us a special fraction having the value of one. Multiplying by one doesn't change a value but here it will allow us to convert from one unit to another. When multiplying fractions together, if we have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator, shown here, they will cancel out. Grains divided by grains has a value of one. We now have our doctor order in milligrams, not quite the goal, so we need to establish another conversion factor fraction with milligrams in the denominator so that we can cancel out the current unit. So we return to the information given in the problem with one tablet equal to 300 milligrams, taking these two equivalent values and expressing them in our conversion fraction with one tablet in the numerator, its equivalent value of 300 milligrams in the denominator, we can cancel out the common factor of milligrams, leaving our only unit of tablets, which is the goal, good indication that we have set up the problem correctly. Next, we will multiply the fractions together, which is done by multiplying the numerators to create the new numerator and multiplying the denominators together to create the new denominator. Simplifying, we will perform a division of the numerator 150 by 300, which gives us a half a tab. So each dosage would be half a tablet. The original orders were every four hours. In a day, if we take 24 hours divided by four, there would be six possible dosages administered. Taking half a tablet and timesing it by six could be a possible maximum dosage of three tablets per day.